dear masters, my dear guards, my dear friends. Welcome to all of you to this uh, today's special evening, the workshop by our senior master. Friends, as we published in the WhatsApp group, so today we'll be having uh, the wonderful workshop on uh, how you can intensify your meditation, what are the various tips for uh, easy and uh, intensifying your meditation. So it's a wonderful session. So hope all of your uh, attention, full attention will be here and uh, welcome you all once again. And um, so for this session, already our master is already joined. So I welcome uh, Priyanka Madam. I welcome you for the wonderful session today to give, to impart your uh, the great uh, the wisdom to all of us. So we are waiting for you. So over to you, Madam. So please take care. Kirya. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Firstly, I would uh, like to thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. And uh, I want to thank our Guru, Brahmarshi Pitamaha Patriji, for giving us this wonderful platform, wonderful opportunities. Because of him, we are all here today, hearing beautiful wisdom and doing group meditation. And I want to convey my sincere gratitude to my guide, my Guru, Brahmarshi Premnath sir and uh, Venkatesh sir. Because of them, I am here today in front of you, sharing my wisdom. So before uh, we dive into our um, topic, I would like to introduce myself, like how I started meditation and how was my spiritual journey and all. So I'm from Kampli. It's a small village near to Hampi. It's in Karnataka only. So I born and brought up in a very conservative and uh, joint family. And my uh, childhood was not smooth. And because of that, uh, I have developed so many, uh, <laughs> what you call uh, uh, so many uh, bad emotions in me, uh, insecurities I, it may, we may call, like fear, anxiety, anger issues. And uh, I used to be uh, always sad and lonely. And because of, because of these inse insecurities, uh, I didn't have any friends because no one would like to be with a sad and uh, uh, anger kid, right? So my entire uh, childhood uh, was like this and I grew up, I completed my double degree and I got job also. Even that, even at that time also, uh, I was uh, juggling through all these issues. But uh, fortunately, I would say fortunately, uh, when I got married, my life completely changed for a better and best possible way. I would always encourage pe uh, people to get married if your life is going through some tough challenges because so many youths are uh, thinking other way around. But my case was totally different because I got married to a family uh, who are meditators. Like from 2003, my in-laws are uh, meditating and in, in this society. And when I got married, I liked all this environment and uh, how my in-laws behave, how they uh, talk to each other. I felt uh, so good to be uh, around them. And uh, my mother-in-law always used to say that higher dimension masters are waiting to come to this earth planet, but they want a meditator home and uh, vegetarian. Uh, but I was medita uh, vegetarian from by birth. So that wasn't uh, an issue, but meditation. Uh, uh, so I thought I didn't deny. But in 2016, when me and my husband uh, thought, okay, let's plan for a baby. It's been a three and a half years now. So at that time, again, my in-law, uh, <clears throat> uh, my in-laws uh, intent was so strong. Me and my husband went to Premnath sir in August 2016, and the sir gave some sankar, some intent. I I couldn't remember that intent also because uh, I wasn't aware of anything. Just he made us to say a few words and uh, made us to say uh, sit for meditation. While meditating, uh, I saw a bright baby, uh, a baby which is laughing and crying. I thought maybe it might, it might be a my mind game because I wasn't aware of these visions. Not at all. I had a zero knowledge about uh, spirituality. So I was uh, hesitant uh, before to share this to Premna sir, but uh, somehow I uh, gathered a courage and uh, when I shared that experience, you won't believe not even uh, he took a second, immediately he congratulated us uh, saying like, congrats madam, you are becoming parent. And we were so shocked, like how can someone be so confident and so 100% uh, sure. So he said, uh, you, you meditate daily without fail uh, for 41 days. And uh, as we followed that and within two or three months, I got pregnant, which and my pregnancy was easiest to 
easiest one i could say because i didn't had any nausea nothing no vomiting i was very normal why am i saying very normal because like along with me my friends and my some relatives got uh, who were uh, got pregnant at the same time but they were facing many issues like uh, uh, thyroid bp uh, diabetes and their pregnancy was very uh, tough but mine was very very smooth so and entire my pregnancy i meditated every day and uh, one particular day to my surprise simply without i was just watching my mobile and uh, from nowhere some video popped up that was uh, pk shivani's uh, virtue baby concept in those videos uh, she very well explained there there were some episode 20 episodes where she will teach uh, why not to do uh, gender uh, gender bias and how you uh, how to connect with a baby how to uh, create a baby's personality and my favorite was uh, how to make uh, your labor miraculous where she'll teach some visualization about our uh, how uh, you want your delivery wanted to be and i followed everything along with the meditation and uh, my delivery also went very smooth it was like same how i visualized it was very normal normal delivery and uh, my baby also like how i uh, uh, the thoughts i used to send how i communicated he is same like very caring very daring very intelligent and no one will believe last year like uh, he uh, he generated interest in maths he was just around 4 years at that time and he was uh, very interested in maths and uh, by watching youtube videos he learned addition subtraction and multiplication we just got a try like we thought why he shouldn't be uh, uh identify this uh, uh quality it it is like uh, some different so we just recorded uh, how how can he solve the addition problem in one minute and we didn't made him practice or nothing in one minute he solved 50 uh, 40 addition sums and which got that, uh, recorded in the indian book of records it was a record like no one has uh, uh, done that much sums in one minute in that age so all because of uh, meditation i could say we can uh, uh, we can we are so blessed to have him that is only through meditation i can say and i suggest everybody if you are planning for baby please meditate when this higher dimension masters choose us as a parent and our life will become very very beautiful and this made me to believe uh, so much uh, the trust of uh, that uh, belief in meditation and i didn't uh, i continued but actual my journey started in 2020 that covid times so we used to live in bangalore me and my husband along with my son but when that covid hit and there was there was a lockdown and uh, my husband like uh, said uh, i don't know how it will it turn out the here situation let's go to our uh, in laws place native which is kottur so we planned to stay we planned for only 15 days at that time and uh, it's been a three and a half years we are still here and this is the best part happened to me i could say when we came to kottur at the covid time at that time uh, there were uh, some sessions going on night sessions premnath sir and venkatesh sir where they used to do group meditation and they used to sit for meditation for up to 2 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock and which was the time was very perfect for me because after my son sleeps i i could get some time for meditation and uh, it was very much suitable for me and i got a opportunity to join in there at the beginning two months everything was like cleansing process i could say because i used to cry a lot i didn't know why i used to cry almost like midnight i used to cry and later i got to know like it's a cleansing process like whatever emotion we suppress from the child it need a some way to get uh, release from us the one uh, form would be tears so that was happening at that time and i accepted that and after 3 months uh, i uh, got a chance to connect with uh, master astral masters and i used to get many messages uh, along with uh, uh, all because of uh, premnath sir and venkatesh sir guidance and uh, they used the masters used to teach me with the actual problem because i had a anger issue i had a fear i had uh, loneliness they used to concentrate on uh, concentrate on one topic and give us uh, daily they'll give uh, they used to give me a task like how to overcome that to sadness if you are feeling sadness how to overcome that they used to give me a uh, 10 options and uh, they literally made me to experiment with that and with those techniques i could easily 
uh, able to come out of my fears, anxieties, uh, loneliness, anger issues. When I see myself like uh, 10 years back, I'm totally a different person now. So all because of meditation. Uh, it gave me all kind of support, strength, and uh, uh, it, it showed me a way to, for a happy and uh, healthy life. And my journey was not smooth, even spiritual journey. I have faced a lot of ups and downs. But I, uh, I should uh, uh, say thanks to my family because I surround uh, with uh, all the spiritual master, spiritual family. So here and there I used to uh, get a push so that I could able to continue. So everyone will go through some uh, process in this meditation, in the spiritual journey. It's not like uh, always a green. So sometimes it will feel down. Sometimes uh, we feel high. So how to uh, be in same consistency in meditation? So whatever I tried, whatever worked for me, today I'm sharing with you all uh, to how to in uh, intensify your meditation or how to keep that continuity in, in your life. And this is also, I'll uh, tell you how uh, this message, these tips are, uh, these tips came. So one particular day I was meditating. Suddenly I heard a voice. I heard a voice. It was so clear. It was saying like, see, you see your journey. It wasn't smooth, right? Sometimes you used to do wonderful meditation. Sometimes you couldn't be able to close your for five minutes, close your eyes for five minutes. So you have tried so many uh, here and there techniques. So many things work for me. And now you should tell all these tips to so many people who are facing the same issues. Along with uh, what I have tried, I got so much of input from that master and uh, I could able to create a video also on that. And uh, I would like to share uh, in 2020, uh, I met Patriji in a Pyramid Valley. It was all unplanned. I, I still remember I went with the file. Uh, which, with, in that file, I had all the messages written which I got in my meditation. And uh, I got an opportunity to show it to Patriji. And when he saw and he said, uh, go ahead, go ahead. And when I was meditating uh, uh, alongside, I just closed my eyes and uh, I questioned him. Like, I want to do more. I don't know what it is. Please guide me. Still, I something is lagging in me. I just, uh, that question was uh, all the way, all the time for one hour. And I just came back from uh, Bangalore to Kotur. And uh, immediately next night, I was meditating. I heard a Patriji message saying, whatever you worked in life, you had a lot of insecurities. You have uh, tried to come out of it. Now it's a time for you to share this wisdom with others. And he said, uh, he guided me like, uh, it was a strong intuition to create a uh, YouTube channel. It was late uh, 2020, I guess. So in that YouTube channel, I got a, a name also in the same night. It was, it's called Spiritual Seed, where I create a small, small videos uh, which worked for me and whatever wisdom I received from Patriji or other master, I just create a video and I post in them. So the same way I posted this also, uh, how to intensify your meditation. And today I got this opportunity to share again with you all. And I'm so happy because whenever we receive a message, it obviously will feel happy. But whenever we share that message to everybody and whenever it helps to somebody uh, in deep, so that uh, amplifies the happiness and amplifies the energy. So we all face this issue. So many people call me and say me, ma'am, okay, you say like with meditation, so much, so much happens like health improves, relationship improves, wealth that we attract, we, peace, uh, find, uh, we, find, we may find peace. But the problem is I couldn't be able to sit for long hours. This is the main problem for the beginners to continue this consistency. Sometimes they may feel one or two days in a group meditation, they feel very good. But the other day, the another day, they fail to continue that. So what to do if you are unable to meditate for long hours, not even for five minutes, you are, you are unable to close the eyes. So first tip, our first uh, wish you, you should analyze like how you are sitting for meditation. What is your posture? Because as Patriji say, our, ours is Sukha Stira Asana. Means normally whenever we ask people to meditate, the beginners, they always sit up straight without a back support. 
what actually it causes it causes a back ache for so many because it causes a strain so sukhasan you sit in a comfortable posture with a back rest sit in a posture uh, where you can able to sit the, in the same posture for long hours okay just observe your po posture and no one will uh, tell that uh, you sit straight or uh, you sit like this but your asan should be sukhasan okay and sthir asan sthir uh, here sthir means your mind should be in a present moment it shouldn't move here and there like a monkey mind what does monkey do it will always jumping from here and there right and in the same way your mind should be at present moment how to do that as our guru brahma shri pitama patri ji he always says that the easiest technique to make your mind in present moment is anapanasati meditation it means you should just simply observe your natural flowing breath so normally when uh, we ask people to observe your breath what do they do they start taking deep breaths like it will become a pranayam so you shouldn't do like that you just have to observe your natural flowing breath so how to do that for beginners it might be it might feel a challenging one so what what you can do is use your index finger and put it on your put it on your lips okay when you keep that your finger on your lips you will feel that uh, uh, whenever you release your breath you will feel that uh, feeling so you just uh, you have to observe that feeling to keep your mind at present moment so first tip this only uh, just observe your posture and observe the natural breath no pressure uh, no need to take a deep breath for a long time because we couldn't do that because natural process is that just happens no need to put a pressure so this will be the first one and second one this worked magic for me even now also sometimes i couldn't able to meditate uh, for more than a 5 or 10 minutes because uh, some stress some thoughts keeps on coming some some uh, unexpected situations keep on uh, haunting so what to do in that uh, situation so i just i don't see a time okay if i feel more disturbed i just go and take a cold shower cold bath cold water bath it works magic so it doesn't only cool our body it cool our mind also we could able to easily come out of the all that uh, uh, thinking patterns that puzzle okay so whenever you feel so much disturbed you couldn't able to close your five, uh, eyes for even 5 minutes then just go and have a cold bath if the weather permits even hot shower also works so you have a bath and immediately after wearing a clothes a wash the clothes you just sit for meditation and see a miracle so this worked a wonderful mark for me so whenever i do this not only my mind my thoughts control i could easily able to connect to the higher wisdom and higher masters so many things uh, so many times this happened and in the same technique only i could able to easily connect with uh, uh, paramahamsa yogananda master and uh, the wisdom he poured he had uh, poured to me is just eye opening so so whenever you feel discomfort whenever you feel so disturbed have a bath and meditate it works okay and uh, next one so what to do when we couldn't able to meditate so premnath sir has uh, taught me this one wonderful tip so you meditate when you are very tired that then you will just go within a few minutes you will go into a deep meditation normally for home worker if you are a home worker and uh, the right time would be 11 o'clock 11 to 12 because you will by that time you will finish from morning to 10 o'clock you will finish uh, you will be hurry and doing this and that so you when you when you finish all your work your body is already tired so in that time you just sit for meditation 11 o'clock connecting with sun energies and it will be a bliss whenever i sit for meditation for 11 or 12 i feel i feel like uh, i have been to some completely different world 
so this or you are working person you are working profession you you don't have uh, you don't uh, really have time on uh, uh, 11 o'clock so what to do so whenever 5 30 or 6 o'clock you will come back right to your home whenever you come back immediately just freshen up have a bath if possible and sit for meditation and just see how wonderfully your body feels you your body will thank you actually that also works uh, whenever you are tired or if you have a habit if you are a morning person if you are habit uh, have a habit of uh, rising up early getting up early then then you could uh, utilize this brahma mohart meditation 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock what happens when we uh, sleep our conscious mind means the conscious mind create keeps on creating a thoughts our conscious mind sleeps when our conscious mind sleeps our subconscious mind is full of awake so whatever we do whatever uh, we take decision based on the uh, inputs we have in our subconscious mind so the when subconscious mind is active when your sub, uh, conscious mind sleep then that is the best uh, time you can meditate that's why people suggest you to meditate in brahma mohara 3 o'clock if you are not a morning person that's absolutely okay you can choose a night meditation we have so many platforms uh, conducting night meditation group meditation where you will easily you can able to connect with the group consciousness because all people will be with the same intent same mindset so they can easily connect to the group conscious and uh, that meditation will be very intense choose your time according to your uh, lifestyle okay but if you are a beginner i suggest you to meditate in same time in a same place for 21 days it will become a habit okay so not a hobby habit because hobby means we'll do it in our free time right but if it becomes a habit without your uh, uh, so without your efforts you can easily do that so just plan just observe your lifestyle which time would suits you better right choose that time for at least for 21 days or 41 days you choose the same time and choose a, choose to sit in the same place okay then meditation once it becomes a, your part of your lifestyle then it will be easy to take it further okay and uh, another type a tip i would suggest is everyone will have a, a favorite songs right i would like some favorite songs i would like some old song yes or no just comment uh, yes or no everyone will be having this favorite songs right some mythological song, songs and some old songs some meaningful song correct right yeah so whenever just uh, just imagine when uh, like when you listen to those songs you could able to we could like you will not uh, see how time pa passes right yes or no we'll just for, uh, forget our life forget everything right in the same way you make one playlist of, of your favorite songs like just uh, for uh, 30 minutes uh, you may request six songs you make a playlist uh, for one hour and just meditate with it some may, uh, if you keep it in a uh, keep it a meaningful songs or mythological songs it will be more connective or uh, just put a music which you are so much connected with i uh, like more of kishore kumar songs i don't know why uh, i always listen to them but i don't meditate with it frankly but I have we uh, from childhood we used to uh, listen to some uh, music right some songs some mythological songs so create a playlist and meditate with it okay so how many tips i have shared till now just mention in a chat no, this is a, a English session. Yeah, it will be in English. Seven. Did I share seven? Hmm. So first, you have to observe your posture and breathing. Okay, and uh, taking a bath. Okay, morning or whenever the time you observe your uh, lifestyle and put a time in that and playlist. So as of now, I feel I have shared four. Okay. Five, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, and next one. 
yeah same place wonderful i feel so good today because people are so attentive this makes me uh, happy and uh, give it more of my 100% thank you so much five and uh, same place and another uh, uh, tip uh, which work wonderful for me is if you are unable to meditate in your home there will be so many temples right around your place just to choose your favorite temple okay choose your favorite temple and just go daily you can spend right at least for one hour there you just go and sit for meditation there it creates a wonderful vibrations because whenever someone uh, goes to temple right they'll just go with a good intent positive vibes right so for example if you go to temple and you, you if you stand in front of god you'll always uh, be in a positive mood like you just bless me with that that correct you will not have a vikalpa uh, you won't think like whether god will manifest for me or whether this will happen for me or not no you won't have that doubt you will have an ekachitta one proper mindset so this makes the temple wonderful <clears throat> surround with wonderful uh, <clears throat> energies and uh, as you as you see all temples are built in a pyramid shape the gopura what we call so in that energy keep on flowing on to the idol the god uh, which we call in the temple and it keeps on spread, spreading the surrounding that's why you feel so good when you visit a temple so why don't you use those temples for uh, meditating even though you may feel a uh, a bell sound a people sound and trust me it won't disturb in kottur also we have a, a great uh, yogi called uh, kottureshwara he was a incarnation of uh, uh, nandi so here people believes uh, trust uh, him so much he went jivanta samadhi here and we have that uh, mata also and whenever we go and meditate it will be a bliss so try temples 21 days regularly you go and meditate you just make a find a some place to sit don't worry what other people think because it's your life you want to see a changes in your life then you have to be brave enough to do something for yourself okay so go to temple and one other one as patri ji always stresses and always says three things okay three hours of meditation two hours of swadhyaya means reading some wonderful books and gaining wisdom and one hour of sajjana sangatya so whenever you are fail to meditate you wouldn't able if you wouldn't able to concentrate because of so many things uh, uh, in your life which were which is uh, disturbing so much then just read some books i recommend to start with some autobiographies trust me even reading that reading those books you feel the same energy as you gain in meditation so whatever it may be you have so many autobiographies autobiography of yogi okay and uh, uh, recently i uh, uh, i read and i shared i created video also because i loved that book the journey home it is a autobiography of uh, uh, radhanath swami he, he is a krishna devotee his path is different but the spiritual uh, paths and the lessons he uh, shares in his life journey is just amazing and or uh, you can read swami rama's uh, uh, himalaya yogis and uh, krishnananda's my favorite book the doorways to light all this we will get in kannada also and english also okay my uh, channel name is spiritual seed if you type a spiritual seed you will get up but i make videos in kannada there because my motto was to spread the whatever wisdom i got to kannada people i don't know why still i do that okay so read books what how much ever it may be two pages or three pages daily and before meditating you read that and you will automatically connect with that with the, that master or uh, before reading if you take some books like say wisdom you just keep hold that book or take patriji's book and you hold it in your hand and close your eyes and you will wonder to feel the energy of that master 
when we connect with the higher masters automatically our meditation will be so so good okay and this will be the wonderful tip i always follow whenever i <laughs> i couldn't able to meditate i just read a book i wasn't a reader before just in this year i started reading and slowly and slowly going further so it it's a beautiful journey just read a book whichever book may be and but if you are a beginner i suggest you to read some uh, autobiographies first first make it a habit because when we read the autobiographies right will involve in that story it will be a story form okay when you uh, make a habit of reading then you can switch to whatever book uh, you wish for okay so read some uh, autobiographies or spiritual books okay and meditate and uh, uh, recently uh, premna sir was telling about this method patri sir used to uh, make uh, make everybody to do this in the early days so it's called a osho technique also what you have to do you have to stand and you have to spin yourself anti clockwise so how does a clock uh, move normally in this right in this direction in this direction okay but what you have to do you have to spin yourself anti clockwise continuously you have to spin spin with the arms open but until whenever you feel rosy or something until that you have to spin yourself and sit for meditation so i tried once and uh, within a few minutes will go into that intense and deep meditation you wouldn't be able to uh, notice that okay you you could try 100% you could try this method okay and nature just go out the nature and observe the nature trees okay or uh, clouds birds whatever you find sky sky gazing is wonderful energy trans energy receiving method just go go on your stray, uh, stairs upstairs open place just sleep and observe the sky within a 5 minutes your eyes will close because of the, that energy whenever your eyes closes immediately sit for meditation or uh, nature trees they have uh, some kind of healing energy you connect with the healing energy and you just hold the uh, leaves a plant and look into it completely immerse yourself in that and uh, just see after that how wonderfully you are meditating with meditation now uh, will be okay and uh, yeah recently i have i uh, uh, have been practicing few methods i feel this this is this is also an anapanasati meditation just focusing or stressing something so a uh, few day few months back uh, i got to know about this omkar meditation we all uh, uh, used to this omkara right the same way by with using a omkara and with little uh, uh, here and there uh, make uping it and chanting it for uh, around uh, 15 minutes by focusing different different places and it helped me to release all that suppressed emotions and uh, it helped me to come to my original version so it works wonders so recently i have created that video also where i made you to uh, meditate with omkara and this works wonder and uh, shreyans daga sir's uh, breath work this is all for the beginners okay right for who are uh, starting started meditation and finding little difficult to uh, continue with that if you are meditating for years anapanasiti is the best you just follow with this but if you are finding trouble you just try different different technique and come back to anapanasiti meditation that is a simplest and easiest method so here in uh, shreyans daga sir's breath work what he makes is like to keep on breathing without pause normally what what we do if you observe your breath we intake and we release and we take some pause for some one or two second again we'll breathe start breathe okay we take we'll usrana uh, togonte uh, so uh, what happens is in that he doesn't allow and uh, he says not to take a breath not to, not to take a break you should keep on breathing breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out you do it for continuously for 15 or 20 minutes without pause without stop and then see after 20 minutes 
one hour will be you will be on a cloud nine cloud nine okay but to do this technique uh, you shouldn't do uh, immediately after eating there will be some uh, two or two and a half hours gap and this works wonder om chanting and observing uh, you are you should take a deep breath deep breath until uh, you feel your muladhara chakra and you should release your breath and follow it and you should observe sasara chakra these are all small small techniques where you could you can gather your energy and without stop you can meditate or if you are feeling so much of uh, thoughts are coming another technique is what you have to do you just keep a alarm for every 15 minutes okay what happens sometimes if you are a beginner even for me it happens when one thought appears it keep on adding another another by that in that thoughts normally we forget that uh, we are meditating and we should uh, be at a present moment but whenever that alarm rings you will come into awareness like no no, no i am meditating i should observe my natural breath this is also uh, works good keep alarm for every 15 minutes okay and come back your get back your attention to your natural breath and uh, all apart from all this you are trying everything but nothing is working nothing is changing in your life is it just a simple indication that you have to change your lifestyle will will be everybody will be having so many uh, unwanted habits the uh, thinking pattern behavioral pattern we should change that to the good one so uh, because uh, actually masters uh, even i was going through this phase everyone goes through this phase uh, we will be having unwanted behavior uh, which we couldn't uh, describe so how to cultivate a good habit if you cultivate a good habit good virtues automatically your meditation will be so good and so intense if you are unable to meditate if something is diverting it is a great indication that you have to get changes in your behavior i would like to share uh, one virtue weekly virtue which masters created for me and made me to work on this so sir if uh, if you allow i i would uh, like to share that uh, slide can i make a co host ma yes sir please so it just work for me uh, so well it's very simple okay you just write it down in a, any paper or i'll share with the sir so that he'll share in a group also so every day you have to do some task within 41 days these tasks will become your uh, lifestyle your habit okay yeah one second i i would like to share that yeah it's uh, yeah it's called weekly virtue table here you will have a task every day you have to forgive one person it might be whoever it might be yourself or any person without any single thought he has done that this everything if you have to leave you just have to forgive one person for yourself not for them it's not like when you forgive they'll come out of the karma cycle if you have done really bad they'll go to that cycle okay and every day with one person you have to talk with full of love with full open heartedly okay no uh, barriers what do you feel inside love that with love you have to talk and every morning you have to uh, start your day with a thank you note whatever you have even for the bed for the sleep for the fan for the house you have to uh, give convey gratitude and you have to start your day and every day <clears throat> you have to stand uh, <clears throat> sorry stand in front of a mirror for 5 minutes and you should praise yourself first few days you might feel it very difficult because we are used to hate ourselves but slowly it is possible to cultivate this habit you just keep on giving the compliments you are whatever it might be your qualities whatever you good at so you have to do this for 5 minutes and every day help one person without expecting anything in return anything small help or it might be a full help 
because when we help no with uh, no uh, expectation you feel so so good from inside so every day at least one uh, you have to do this and tick your you have to tick okay by if you follow 41 days and you will see so much changes in you and you could able to do wonderful meditation so for you one person talk one person with love start your day with gratitude do a 5 minutes of mirror work stand yourself and appreciate yourself you may find silly but it it uh, increases confidence in you and help one person without any uh, expectations or without any motto just help wholeheartedly so with this one 1000% works when you keep uh, uh, start changing the behavioral patterns in you and when you uh, cultivate the good ones automatically your meditations will be very peaceful and very intense and when you meditate so deeply for 3 hours every day and within a few days your life start changing your health keeps on improving your relationships keeps on coming back so as patri ji says when you meditate your 90% karma will be released so 10% it will be very less so we'll face with lot of courage when you meditate so i request everyone to meditate daily just find some techniques if you are unable to meditate don't stress on why i am unable to meditate don't stress on that just uh, get some new ideas try some new ideas so that you can help others as well with the same problem come up with new experiments so keep on experimenting and this life we have got is a wonderful life we should be very lucky to get this life actually we have to be very very thankful for this life so and this body as well so thank you so much uh, who all attended this and mother foundation team for doing a amazing selfless work so it's a it takes lot of uh, uh, back end work to all this so let's say thank you to sir you can put mention a, uh, your comments in the chat chat box saying your whole heartedly say thank you to him so that whenever we uh, tell something with the whole heartedly 1000% it will come back to us only okay you just uh, start you may start uh, putting in a chat saying thank you so much mouthar foundation yeah with full of heart you type it and you see how how good you feel yes thank you so much sir for giving this wonderful opportunity i'm so uh, blessed and uh, happy today thank you so much thank you very much ma thank you so much because <clears throat> wonderful session today i think uh, all of us got so many inputs so i was keep keep on writing near about 11 points something has come so which are very you know like for a very beginner so very very great uh, inputs all this so hopefully like all of our masters so what happens is every 21 days we do sessions right so 21 days we finish uh, like uh, it will be in a rushing every day every day day by day lot of concepts lot of things of course yeah. one hour meditation will be there but we can't clarify this many things uh, in uh, you know one session so as you clarified and uh, given the different inputs surely these are going to help benefit them because everybody will have some or other somewhere other place other place they, they, they got stuck yes sir. because of uh, not having a intense meditation sometimes a disturbance in the meditation so surely i think uh, these are, these inputs are going to be greatly helpful ma so i am thanking once again whole heartedly i am thanking to you so for sharing uh, such a wonderful uh, uh, tips for all the beginners and even the practitioners regular practitioners so hopefully we will continue this and uh, everybody will follow this i know definitely so i think um, so we will start the meditation ma we will start the meditation or anybody having any questions let them clarify yes sir we will take before, some before going to the meditation yeah yes sir i'll just uh, put in unmute condition yes sir masters uh, over having questions please ask uh, priyanka madam will answer you and uh, after that we will go to the meditation now practice of meditation she will guide you so please unmute yourself and ask questions over there questions yeah hello yes sir 
first of all uh, thank you so much um, priyanka master uh, i've been um, um hearing you i mean watching uh, um so before this uh, session also um you you really uh, teach uh, so many things uh, um in this session you mentioned different types of meditation um and one thing you said that okay you have to keep experiencing experience. i think this is a must yeah experience uh, i mean keep um, experimenting yeah okay uh, this is very 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 important actually when uh, when we uh, reach you know um, uh, but doing the same thing again and again sometimes we may you know that uh, may not experience anything or may not you know that uh, see anything new happening yeah it is uh, it's a wonderful thing you said that okay please keep experimenting by different ways so that you know that we can share our experience uh, thanks for reminding me um, i even i keep doing this actually uh, one of the thing what i do is i keep meditating anywhere i mean i just sit um, sometime in um, uh, um i mean e even traveling train also i do uh, to just to exp experience you know that what happens yeah. um i i meditate in uh, temples i meditate in home i meditate in um, uh, pyramid valley yeah. and i meditate in um, any i mean i just want to experience i i meditated in front of uh, river um yeah. uh, krishna river so i keep doing this and then what you said is okay you like uh, experience different things yeah this is what i'm doing and uh, thanks for reminding me sometimes i used to think that okay maybe i'm not doing uh, this is strange thing i'm doing but um, yeah but somebody already uh, does this way and also tells uh, thanks for this uh, madam uh, one more thing um, uh you mentioned that okay uh this om and then uh, stopping yeah. on the read um i have not experimented these things but uh, yeah. before uh, doing this anapanasati i used to meditate uh, yeah i used to just focus on something for example mm -hmm. uh, between the eyebrow yeah or uh, maybe a nose or maybe uh, some um, Uh, focusing on some sound or some geometrical shape uh, focusing on that thing sometime meditating with open eyes also um, i used to do yeah different experience um, thank you thank you so much once again i have one uh, question yes sir uh, so when when we i mean uh, in the beginning uh, uh, i i started uh, intensive meditating only from last to 3 months and uh, believe me or not uh, i don't know it's just uh, uh, it just forces or maybe attracts me to uh, sit and meditate uh, i used to do uh, yoga and uh, pranayama every day uh, i don't know i just stopped it but uh, it, it's not good at actually but i start i i i, I shouldn't uh, ignore anything in my life whether it's a bad experience or it it's a good experience uh, i learned that i should experience both actually and both i should respect and nothing is uh, waste uh, i believe uh, the even the yoga has given me a lot of thing uh, so i i shouldn't ignore that's what uh, it comes to my mind i will uh, start doing again uh, i'll find some time for uh, yoga as well i used to teach um, uh, yoga also um, now uh, in the yoga group i also sometime teach uh, meditation uh, though it is not uh, i mean the people they don't like because it's a yoga group uh, but sometimes i do it uh, with uh, permission uh, yeah so one one question uh, master yes sir um, uh when when we uh, meditate uh, i mean a long long uh, period for example let's say more than 1 hour 2 or 3 hours uh, 
uh, what happens is uh, often uh, we uh, get into uh, yoga nidra i believe um, yeah. where i think that neither i neither i get yeah. any thought nor i get uh, uh, get the feeling that okay i'm breathing actually uh sometimes uh, it it feels that i'm not at all breathing actually and uh, one more uh, special experience is that uh i breathe once i breathe i breathe once and then nearly 5 to 10 minutes i or maybe 5 minutes uh, something is breathing inside actually but i'm not breathing physically outside it feels that someone is breathing inside actually i mean once i take air from outside and then internally it, i feel that someone else is breathing actually but physically i don't feel that okay i'm breathing from outside actually mm-hmm. it total stillness yeah this is what i feel actually and uh, i don't know it is just experience or mm-hmm. uh, maybe if you have experience maybe uh, can tell me what it is actually whether it is uh deep state or it is or something because i do, i don't think i'm free th- breathing actually mm-hmm. from outside this is what it's happening yeah so yesterday the same topic we were discuss i was discussing with premnath sir and yesterday we were just meditating together and uh, it was so intense that uh, i felt uh, i'm sleeping or i'm going to the sleep i said sir uh, i'm feeling very sleepy and sir said no it's not a sleep when you when you are, you touch that uh, divine state the bliss state the ultimate state you will feel uh, no thoughts and you will feel full of depth and uh, you won't feel your body as well so the same thing is happening with you it's a good uh, uh, feeling because you are completely uh, coming out of your body consciousness to soul consciousness that's why you are feeling someone else is breathing normally what we do we feel ma- we feel we tell ourselves we express ourselves as our body right but our true identity is soul we are soul being so you are reaching to that level you just enjoy that level sir in that intense uh, experience if you have any doubts or if you want any guidance you when you ask and it will be given mm-hmm. yeah. okay and one more difference uh, i have experienced uh, master um uh, when in the beginning when i used to meditate uh, i started uh, meditating in the night itself that is 9 to uh, sorry 10 to 1 okay. um that time i used to experience that i don't need to sleep anymore actually yeah. i don't need to sleep anymore but now after 3 months i i i sleep a lot actually i don't know why <laughs> even even after meditating i sleep a lot actually you don't believe me in the morning i get up at 4 4:30 sometime 4 o'clock 5 uh, o'clock uh, master um, uh, sim um, rangnath master sir uh, i i i am attending from last two months uh, kannada session and also sometime uh, english uh, session also in the night uh after meditating i sleep actually i don't know yeah 5 <laughs> uh, to 6 i meditate uh without any problem then after 6 o'clock i uh, start um, um uh, listen to their lectures on various things and various li- really really well uh, it's connected uh, but um, sometime i i sleep actually after yeah. this um, meditation i don't know why it is happening yeah it's all I mean, it's not... actually so in this the spiritual journey it keeps on changing and sometimes uh, some changes so uh, will take place in our body so uh, th- uh, in those times you will feel very sleepy just don't think much just go to sleep yeah yeah, yeah thank you much one more one... yeah yeah thank you thank you so much master one more last uh, thing i had uh, a cervical uh, problem uh, it was uh, some c2 c3 some they name it it was uh, critically damaged and um, um 
immediately after the report i started meditating they gave me belt and all doctor i used to uh, wear that uh, belt around my neck and uh, okay. used to work on computers because i work um, i'm a software engineer um so nearly 8 to 10 hours i work um i i used that belt for uh, one or two days and it used to give a better result and never used to pain but uh, when i started uh, meditating this pain is vanished i don't know okay uh, the pain is uh, 95% it is vanished without any tablet uh, without any uh, uh, this um, belt as well uh, but sometimes i get a pain uh, uh, neck Uh, uh in between uh, head and shoulder neck uh, okay. one point which was not earlier there mm-hmm. i feel that pain is not in body not in physical body okay. but it is the next body which is called uh, what is that energy Etri- sorry energy body ha ah, the next body mm-hmm. i feel the uh, pain there uh, it it um, i experience in the morning mm. and uh, after i get up it vanishes like anything i don't know why it, it in just sleep you feel that pain sorry in sleep you will feel that pain or no 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 before getting up let's say that okay i get up at uh, 4 o'clock or 4:30 mm. uh, right at that time i feel that pain uh, uh, i feel that is not in the physical body but it it's a next body a uh, stoola body or uh, not stoola what is that called know, energy or uh, the etheric body so uh, i don't know exactly what it is but after i get up from the bed it just vanishes i don't know where it is where it goes i really don't know but the moment when i when i i try twice the moment i try to apply some uh, pain oil or maybe some um, mm. or whatever it is to remove that pain yeah it yeah it remains for some time actually it remains for some time so normally you are feeling that your emotions are stored there and uh, that is reflecting and you could able to identify that it's a, not a bodily pain so normally what happens is uh, whenever we suppress or we have a wrong emotion it start reflecting uh, in our body so just observe yourself what are your root beliefs you have any like uh, uh, feeling like no one is there to support me or uh, i'm the one yeah please mute yourself jitendra sir yeah so you observe your root beliefs or uh, what you have that is uh, reflecting there so you are you observe that and uh, you try to change that belief saying like no this is not me i would like to release this thought completely from my entire system not only in the physical body from my entire system so with that thought you meditate for some days and you will definitely you will see the changes sir okay thank you master thank you i will definitely do that uh, and uh, until today uh i don't have uh, any kind of uh, experiences so, i mean i keep hearing right they've seen uh, patri ji master they've yeah. seen someone um they met someone the astral body mm-hmm. travel all these things i have never experienced actually yeah. so it's a some little little extended topic actually i have a made made video on specially on this our visions important so you just go back to my channel and you search with the topic and you'll get a video so there i clarified why people see a visions or why people sometimes doesn't see any vision yeah right mm-hmm. yes sir we'll uh, give opportunity to others also yeah because <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah first floor sir thank hello? you yes please hello. go ahead. yes ma'am ma'am i have a question that i want to wake up early in the morning but i can't do this so how can i yeah. 
like for what reason uh, you are trying to win? What motive you have? I want to do meditation in Brahma words. Okay. So, yeah, firstly, ma'am, uh, whatever time you are comfortable, you try meditate three hours in that, in those times. You practice a meditation in those times and after sometimes, whenever you used to that three hours, then you can try waking up in a three o'clock Brahma at the time. Okay. When your body is not fully rest, when your mind is not completely rest, you couldn't able to get up in three o'clock. Okay. You, whenever you, whatever time you're comfortable, you practice meditation three hours in one sitting in those times. I'm then doing, you, but I'm doing, I'm actually day hours, but I want to uh, meditate early in the morning. And so, as I said, there is no rule. There is no like good time or bad time. Every time is good. You just don't think much. Whenever you meditate, you try to go to the thoughtless state. That will work. Because it, I feel that it's my bad habit. No? So I want to convert it to good one. I, even I couldn't able to get up that much early. So night only mm -hmm. I meditate. That's okay. Someone, some people are early... Early people are some in night roles. That's okay. You just, you have to meditate intensely. That is important. Yeah. Master, can I answer this question? About yeah, yeah, uh, getting... <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, because, uh, yeah, earlier I was also like struggling to get up early. But uh, then what I did and now I'm getting up at Brahma Morat. So I want to suggest the sisters. Um uh, first, we need to change our uh, sleeping habit. We need to sleep early. Uh, that is not possible for the uh, house. Uh, means, yeah, right? that is not possible, but we have to try that. And the other thing, what I did, a uh, little bit early, and uh, before sleeping, uh, like uh, gratitude uh, and everything we uh, do. And after that, we have to request ourselves, taking our name and uh, requesting ourselves uh, please uh, make me or help me to wake up uh, this time or early so try this maybe the, that will help yeah and <laughs> yeah I'm this glad. is just, just a suggestion the what i uh, started and actually it helped me so that is why i am uh, suggesting i don't know if it doesn't work then please don't blame me no, no, it will work actually. But what happens is uh, if someone having a small kid, they'll, by the time they go to sleep, it will be up 12 o'clock. If I sleep at 12 o'clock, it will be highly impossible to get up at 3. So if you have such kind of commitments, you just go with the flow. If you don't have kind of commitments, you can follow the tricks and you can get up early. Anything is possible. Or you can uh, start like uh, getting up half an hour early, then make it one hour, then that way you can try yes. to increase the time also. Yeah, ma Master, I have one question. Uh, you said make the playlist of your favorite songs. So, yeah. in songs, there are like uh, kind of stories, words and all that. So, when we listen, one way we like flow, our thoughts flow with that song only. So, in the meditation, when we listen this, so how it is uh, zero, uh, like we, we are actually thinking about that uh, song or so, uh, that verification. Yeah, the mythological songs, or like okay. some old songs where words, we, first thing you won't understand if it is in a mantra okay. kind of, you just okay. you will connect with that vibes. I, that's why I suggested not to put a film song, a movie song. Just go okay. with the mythological song, like the songs we grew up with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And today's session was very nice, Master. Very uh, useful tips, and uh, we are very grateful for gratitude to yeah. you and Patriji and Mother Foundation. Guruji, thank you very much for arranging this session. Thank you. And hope, sir, you'll. Uh, uh, Again, call ma this master to uh, guide us time and again. And thank you very much for the session. Thank you, master. Thanks. Thank you.
So yes, friends, uh, anybody is having questions, please. Sir, sir, I have one more question. Ma'am, when while I'm going to temple, I have uh, feel of very much emotional and having lots of tears in my eyes. So uh, during that, uh, you know, feeling, how can I meditate in the temple? Because it's, you know, you know connect myself. Yeah. So I'm... So whenever you touch the divinity, the suppressed emotion will automatically start coming out. That's a good sign, actually. Okay. It's a good sign. You just don't think much. You just go and sit. If you feel like crying, cry. After a few days, that will stop. All the people looking around me. <laughs> Why she has okay, Don't worry about others. Just do it for yourself. It will be locked when you do things also. Master, can I ask one more question? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hello? Yeah. Uh, when uh, I also started reading, but the my problem is I read and then I forget also. Like, uh, uh, when I'm reading that, uh, uh, only for a few, a few, like, few days I remember that. But then that important thing, I note down also, but then I forget also that. So how to, uh, what technique should I like use in my reading so that it should be, uh, I should be like following that or that should be inside me. Yeah. How to read. So even I was in this mindset when I started reading, but then I got to see a one video where the master says, no need to remember each and every word. Whichever the uh, wisdom is important, it will immediately stored into your subconscious mind. And when situation arises, automatically it will come out. No need to put any efforts. But whichever words or lines you like, you just keep on underlying that, underlying it. And whenever you open that book, after some years, you will be able to recall all that in just one word. So don't go with uh, to rem in the mindset to remember each and every word. So everything will be stored in our subconscious mind. It will come out on time. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. Hello. Hello, yes, ma'am. Uh, 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 good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, can I talk uh, Canada? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, ma'am. I understand English, but can't uh, uh, talk properly. Okay, ma'am. Nano, let me experience. I'll pass it. Ma'am, take two thousand twenty-one. Ninda meditation. Ma'am, today. ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಚಕ್ರಾಜ್ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ನನ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಬಂತು ಏನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಡೇ ಅಂತಾರಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಈಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದು ನಾನು ಹಂಗೆ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದು ಚಕ್ರಾಜ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಾಡಿಲಿ ಹಿಂಗೆ ನನಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ನನಗೆ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಬೇಕು ನನಗೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ಕಲಿಬೇಕು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಜನರಿಗೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಈ ತರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮನೋಭಾವ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವಾಗ ನಾನು ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅದೇನೋ ಒಂದು ಬಾಡಿ ಸಂಚಲನ ಆದಂಗೆ ವೈಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಆ ನಿಧಾನವಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಚಿತ್ರ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಅದು ನನ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅನುಭವನೂ ಆಯ್ತು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಏಂಜಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಹೋದ್ರು ನನ್ಗೆ ಏಂಜಲ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಏಂಜಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಕಾಣಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನನ್ಗೆ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬೇಗ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬೇಗ ಶಾಂತವಾಗಿ ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ವಿಚಿತ್ರವಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ವಾಲಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರೀ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ನೆಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಲೋರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ನನಗೆ ಎರಡು ಕಣ್ಣುಗಳು ಕಾಣಿಸೋದು ಒಂದು ದುರ್ಗಾ ಮಾತ ಅದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಗಣೇಶ್ ಅದು ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ನನಗೆ ಕಾಣಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಯಾರ ಹತ್ರ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಏನದ್ದು ಅಂತ ನನ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಫೀಲ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ದಾಗ ಕೋಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆ
ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ನೀವು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಲವ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅತಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಧ್ಯಾನ ಮಾಡಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಇವಾಗ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಧ್ಯಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಏನೋ ವಿಚಾರ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ನೀವು ಇಂಟೆನ್ಶನ್ ತಗೊಳಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಮೆಡಿಟೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಮಾಡೇ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಅದೇ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಯಾರಾದ್ರೂ ನನಗೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಗೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನಮಗೆ ಯಾರು ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅದೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಯಾರಿಂದನೂ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇವ್ರು ಏನಾದ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ನಿನ್ನ ಒಳಗಿಂದ ನಿನ್ನ ಒಳಗಡೆಯಿಂದನೇ ನಿನಗ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನೀನು ಆ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಆ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬರ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ನನ್ನ ಓನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇವ್ರು ಅರ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗು ಸೆಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎದ್ದೊಳಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎದ್ದು ಮಾಡಿ ಓಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅದೇ ನಾನು ಹೌಸ್ ವೈಫು ಆಮೇಲೆ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಸಿಗಲ್ಲ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ನಾನು ಆದಷ್ಟು ಆದ್ರೆ ಈ ಆಂಜಲ್ ಆಂಜಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾಣಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರ ಏನು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇದು ನನಗೆ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ಹೌದಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ Just relax. Just relax. Leave your body completely loose. convey gratitude to your body and ask it to relax thank you so much my dear body for working for me 24/7 and relax now let's connect with our guru brahma shri pitamaha patri sir consciousness and mother baba ji consciousness if thought arises just absorb your natural breath my dear friend don't give energy to your thoughts just be in present moment when we are in present moment we'll connect the universal energies let's all connect with moon energies as well moon energies will help us to cleanse ourselves let's invoke moon energies
and the moon energies are entering us through our sarasara chakra. A white, bright light started flowing into our body. With full of gratitude, we'll welcome that white light. And it slowly started spreading each and every part of our body, making our cells more energetic. Feel that wonderful energy, my dear friends. Feel the vibrations in your head, on your forehead, on your hands, on your palms. We are completely filled with the light, which is also helping us to release unnecessary things, unnecessary emotions, unwanted opinions. We are, all, we are all radiating at the higher level. Let's radiate this light to our people, to our house. To our, let's spread this light. The light of love, the light of peace and the light of wisdom. Spread this light to entire your house. And your city. And your state. And we are spreading this light so intensely. Let this light be filled with full of love, transformation, and peaceful energies. Let the earth be completely filled with this light. Right now, we are all working as a light worker. We are transmitting the light. We are acting like a transmitter, spreading this divine light to everywhere, to the required places. Let's thank universe for giving up this wonderful opportunity. In that light burning inside you, my dear friends. What a wonderful feeling, isn't it? We are all vibrating at a higher level. We'll request moon. For 
for this wonderful connectivity. Be there for forever. Along with us, so many astral masters are radiating light and are being a part of this wonderful universal work. We thank them as well, making us a part of it. Thank you, universe. Thank you all the astral masters. Let us thank our Guru Brahma Shibita Mahapatriji and Mahathar Babaji for guiding us in a right path. You complete gratitude, my dear friends, for this entire process, for this universe. With full of heart, say thank you. and request universe to give us many opportunities to work for this universe. What a wonderful meditation. What a wonderful energies. Let these energies sink in us completely. You complete gratitude to your father and mother. You complete gratitude to your gurus, guides, whoever helped you in even a small possible way. Convey gratitude to them. Say thank you to your family members and friends. And give gratitude to this wonderful, amazing life we have. So many good things. So many good people. Thank you, universe, for this wonderful life. And lastly, give gratitude to your body, mind and soul. Thank you so much. Relax, masters. Come to this present moment. If you wish to continue our meditation, you can continue. Just relax. Last 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can gently place your hands, palms on your eyes and you can open your eyes. So thank you. Thank you so much. And once again, I would uh, convey my sincere gratitude to you, sir, and uh, all the team members. Please keep on this good work and thank you so much. Wonderful, madam. Actually, in fact, uh, very thankful to you for giving this wonderful session. And also, I go through your uh, work, you know, the sincerely you do conduct a YouTube channel. So, I really, the amazing work, madam, because uh, I've gone through the videos also. So, the different, uh, different topics and uh, different uh, you know, range of topics are there. So, which are uh, for I think uh, all our Prana uh, people, it's uh, the wonderful uh, knowledge sessions are there. So, definitely, masters who are knows Canada, please go through the spiritual seed, the YouTube channel. It's very much useful. I'm telling you, I have gone through some of the sessions, your, your sessions. Okay. So, thank you once again, and uh, I, we need your support for the further sessions in thank English, you. especially. We start at uh, first uh, first December again. 
will go, go to up to 21st December. So the various sessions and uh, different days. So some of the sessions I we request your uh, session also to all of us. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So my dear masters, so um, this is about uh, today's session. So all of us really very happy and you know we got a great wisdom from Priyanka Madam. And uh, so all of us have gone through it. So any questions you have, anything you can ask. So Madam, maybe she wanted to leave because she has got other session. Yeah. So yeah. anything else uh, you have other, all our members you have any questions, please go, go question. You can put your question, I'll try to answer. Madam will be leaving because she has got other session today. And uh, <clears throat> masters, we will be having a, we'll be starting the session again December 1st and uh, it will go up to 21st. So that's a batch uh, six of uh, the English session is going to start. Okay. So all of you, hopefully you are, uh, you are joined already. Definitely, if at all anybody not joined in the WhatsApp group, so try to join the WhatsApp group. Okay. So Madhar Foundation has uh, created a separate WhatsApp group for the batch six. Okay. Batch six, all the participants can join there. And we'll post all the Zoom details, everything there, so that you can join on the December 1st. Every day it will be, the timing is changed. Please note it down. Uh, in the evening, uh, it will be 8 to 9.30. Okay, 8 to 9.30, one and a half hour. Exactly. Okay. Right. So anybody having any questions, please uh, you can put the questions. If you have any questions, you can ask. Uh, Master, uh, one experience I, I want to share. Is it okay? Yeah. Short, short and sweet. <laughs> yes, yes. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday, um, I uh, meditated in Pyramid Valley for one hour, 15 minutes. Right. And uh, I spent some time there and then um, uh, came to the main road where I have to catch bus. Uh, one side of the road is closed. I mean, uh, they're uh, putting a damper road there. And another side, uh, both the vehicles, I mean, two side vehicle, it travels. And I was supposed to cross that uh, road. Uh, 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 just before crossing, I just asked one lady uh, standing in, in the middle of the road, um, uh, like, where do I, uh, where, where is the bus stop? Okay. And she said, okay, opposite side, you just walk other side of the road. Uh, then uh, I don't know what happened. I was just about to cross a uh, road. And uh, only I, I saw the left side, the vehicle is coming. And the right side, I didn't see that. The right side is also coming. And I didn't observe that. I don't know what happened to that lady. Suddenly she told that, okay, sir, please observe. The vehicles are coming from right side also while crossing. I just felt that, okay, um, somebody communicated to me that otherwise I, I would have stepped. The bus was coming in very high speed, actually. I just felt, you know, that uh, somebody was intentionally told me that, okay, before crossing the road, please observe. Vehicles are coming. Yes. I just felt that, okay, God or universe, I don't know, whatever it is. I just felt someone communicated to me. Def, um, to me only that okay just please check before crossing check the right side I felt that actually because high, in a high speed the bus was coming actually yes. uh, mm -hmm. so I, I I say that okay there is some energy always talking to us we should be open always to listen to that actually See, that's what uh, <clears throat> uh, no, like uh, angels are around, angels will be always around us that's number one Angels will be always around us, okay? And uh, they'll be over, like, see, we came from the upper world. We are not belong to this world, first of all, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we need, if you if you understand truly, like, uh, the truth is, truth is very simple. We came from other world. We are not belong to this world at all, okay? So, our, our physical body, of course, is made up of five elements and we are just born here. But we are truly the beings of the upper worlds. We come here and go, like you know, it's like a visit, visiting place for us. 
So that's why we need guidance. So the, the guidance will be happening in the subtle way. The subtle communication. It's called subtle communication. The subtle uh -huh. communication will be solidified and communicated to you through different forms. One may be a messages, maybe a, some pamphlet, maybe a person communicating you or the somebody, you know, in a different format. Format may be anything, but the message will come to you and it will rescue you. That's all. Yes, that's what I felt, Master, that uh, uh, she met she meant for me only because i uh, otherwise i would have stepped down because in the divider in the middle i would have stepped down the bus is coming in very high speed actually absolutely this is how, how, I, I i didn't understand how did how did she understand that okay i will just uh, go without seeing the right side actually i didn't know that actually but it was uh, all, this actually, all this will be a great communication keep happening it keep happening but we can't we can't uh, you know, uh, so called we can't we can't analyze or we can't decipher it. The desperation, despairing that uh, message is very tough. Only thing is we need we just hear from this side, from that side, from back side, or from the people, from the you know like a, a blast messages on a wall poster. Something or will come. The, see the moment you go uh, come into the public in the outer world, you see so many things which are all meant for you. Probably some of the not bad things I'm telling you. So things which are necessary, definitely which comes across you. A person comes across you that day particularly is speaking to you. Yes, it is a destined, it is a planned and it's arranged to you. That's all. Okay. But the only thing is whether you want to take it up or not take it up, that's uh, leave it to the, your willpower. Okay. Your free will. Basically, you've got a free will, right? So that it's left to your free will. You, you decide now whether you wanted it or you wanted to pursue that, you wanted to pursue the other way. So that's left to you. So that's why actually what happened, because the pre-will is given to you, so also there is a one more governing law is there, that is law of karma. Law of karma is always behind you. At the same time, pre-will is given to you. So this is this facility is available only for humankind, not for the nature kind. Okay. So yes, of course, we can we can do this or that, we can do bad or good, great or you know, great thing or less thing. So all depends upon our own the decision making. We can decide anything. It is just left to you. Because you are a co-creator, uh, the God knows and Almighty knows you are a co-creator, you are given the all powers, but make sure that use it properly, wisely, not to affect you, not to affect others. That means not to affect your own soul. See, sometimes by doing something, what will happen? No? We down, downgrade ourselves, downgrade our, our own soul uh, consciousness. Okay, so Our own soul evolution, we downgrade so much. We will go to the maybe next negatively, like a negative a minus by 20 lives. Minus by 13 lives. We don't know. Because that, that, that is the kind of uh, the activities or the kind of task or that kind of uh, thinking what we take up. So because we have free will, you can take any any decision. You can talk anything. You can do anything on this earth planet. There's no boundaries. It's not bounded by anything. But one thing is the law is governing you always. That is law of karma. Mm, thank you, Master. Yes, Master. Thank you. I just uh, thanked... Uh... Uh, the Taka and uh, yeah. I wish her good and uh, I said thanks so many times to Akka. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So, right, Master. So, we'll take leave. I think uh, we'll be meeting uh, on 20, December 1st again. So, December 1st will be the starting session for us. So, for the English session, it's going to start 8 o'clock from now, 8 to 9.30. So, we would like to take little early so that everybody will be participating properly and the afterwards after 9 30 of course you can continue your meditation you can go into the sleep at all so that's why we okay. just change okay. the timing from you know let, let it not be so late because uh, so late sometimes some people may not be accustomed to or no habituated to it so let's not do that so we'll start at 8 o'clock and then 9 30 maybe it goes 9 45 also sometimes so then after you can continue meditation, you can do more. Depends upon your uh, wish. Okay. Likewise. So any more questions uh, on the, anything on the related to spirituality, anything you want to ask, you can ask. The close now. Guruji, I want to ask, uh, mm -hmm. till now I, I am not able to do continue mm -hmm. like twice or once or twice I did one hour continue, but mm -hmm. uh, I am not able to set continue one hour. So in between, like 
uh, in half an hour i open like open my eyes and uh, move my legs and then again i start so uh, how to like how to i am able i'll do like so that i can 41 day 41 days uh, have you completed no 41 days completion of meditation timing total 41 days have you practiced till now yeah yeah guru ji this, this is my third i completed third session oh, but uh, yeah continue one hour till now i am not uh, able to what you do what you do is uh, day time you are sitting for only one time right not two times no two time i am doing like morning and evening morning and evening okay. uh, yeah yeah sometime if morning not uh, evening not possible or sometime then afternoon like twice i am doing but continue not one hour, like uh, in between i move little bit then i start again then that way i sit one hour or more than that but continue i am not able to sit so right. see what will happen is uh, if you go into the deep conscious state that means if you go beyond mind you go beyond mind then obviously you can be able to continue till one hour the extent of one hour is not an easy not a difficult thing at all the reason is sometimes when we sit and go into the deep meditation state two hours is also not a matter three hours also not a matter because you enter into that state only thing you allow yourself because of various things you know uh, like uh, basically your mind must be clean enough and uh, you should not have any kind of a strain in the body or kind of thing right if you have strain in the body or stress in the body sometimes it doesn't allow you to now that will give you some kind of a pain or something then slowly you will come out right but still if you if you are not opening the eyes and then continuing also okay but slowly slowly it will happen only thing you should go just to cross the boundary of the mind okay then getting into the that uh, the deep conscious state na no? the the zero state so that is where your uh, real journey starts so from then no uh, there is no boundary of time no no space that means no timing at all in that, in that space only space and you you and space that's all nothing the, the timing is uh, completely gone out the timing itself is not there in that uh, zone okay mm-hmm. so we, you need to reach to that level so start start doing it i mean uh, keep continuing so no, no need to worry mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it will come it will come like if without opening my like because yes. my joint don't joint open, pain don't, uh, yeah don't open the eyes don't open that just up, just adjust yourself because yeah just adjusting or See, just what will happen is uh, now when you just you, you got some discomfort then you woke up and uh, you drink water and mm-hmm. again sleep that doesn't work for you that doesn't work like that so just mm-hmm. adjust yourself your physical body or a posture mm-hmm. or whatever don't open the eyes just continue like that only okay hmm? okay okay so yeah. like you do you do it i think it will come that state will come hmm? okay thank you yeah yeah right right so okay masters we will be closing the session now okay so thank you very much thanks for all of you all the masters who joined the session and uh, we all gone through the the great tips given by priyanka madam so let's follow those those tips for all in the beginners of meditation must follow these uh, tips which are really very helpful what she has given today shared with us and once again we are very thankful to priyanka madam so once again dhanyawad to her and then let's meet on to, uh, december 1st at 8 o'clock thank you namaste signing off thank you